Today is a huge shopping haul. Okay, my next purchase and definitely my biggest purchase of the day, and I have been living in these this summer. My poor wallet. That's all I'm gonna say. And I wanted to get a style that I don't actually have yet. Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shopping and shop with me videos, home decor and DIY home decorating videos. I love shopping at all my favorite stores like Target, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Kirkland, World Market. I love doing clothing shopping videos like we have today. Today is a huge shopping haul from yesterday's pre-vacation shopping spree. I just ended up showing so many like shopping clips and what I was looking at and trying on that this haul needed its own <laughs> separate video my poor wallet that's all I'm gonna say I bought some stuff for me some stuff for Brian and I'm really excited to share it all with you today if you love shopping videos or DIY home decorating videos I have tons of videos showing all of my home transformations in our new home be sure to check out the links down below after you watch this video but I'm so excited to show you everything I picked up if you love shopping at stores like Target home goods all those things then you will definitely love it here so please be sure to give the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell and YouTube will notify you every single time I post post a new video but I'm super excited I have a lot of stuff I want to get into kind of tell you why I got it all the things how it feels the colors so let's hop into my vacation shopping spree haul so I'm gonna start with airy I love getting my bathing suits from there I am 100% a creature of habit I already have the swimsuit in two other colors so it's definitely one of my favorites for Brian's family beach week there's tons of kids and like I'm always wanting to be super hands-on with them like going in the water running around playing games so I love wearing a lot of one-piece swimsuits at beach week and I already have this swimsuit like I said in two different colors it's gonna be so hard for me to like show you it it's just like a really beautiful wrap front one piece I have a blue color from last year as well as a cheetah print so I decided to pick up this black one you just kind of like tie these two front pieces and it's wrapped and then there's like a little bit of like a gap right here but there's like a really nice tie that kind of like covers it um, it's a really good coverage on the back and it's just one of those bathing suits that you can put on and you do not have to worry about it at all like you're gonna put it on it's gonna stay in place it's just a great swimsuit so I wanted to pick it up in black it's just such a nice staple color I feel like also with beach week there's lots of like eating and drinking and by the end of the week you're not really feeling your best so I always think it's nice to just have a black swimsuit so perfect matches with everything so super excited to have picked this up in black the store was having a buy one get one free sale but I didn't find another swimsuit I wanted and I didn't want to get one just to get one but when I was checking out I checked on airy.com and all their swimsuits were 50% off and they matched their online price so I actually ended up getting the swimsuit for $24.50 instead of like 53 bucks which was so awesome super excited about it and can't wait to rock this at beach week next up is old navy so i tried on tons of amazing dresses at old navy if you didn't see the shopping video it will definitely be linked down below um but i tried on so many fun dresses i already have so many dresses from there and i wanted to get a style that i don't actually have yet so i decided to pick up this navy dress that has these like really really teeny tiny like small cutouts on the side i just feel like it makes it like fun for summer it's like a little bit sexy i don't know like fun for a date night but still like more conservative the length is really great on all old navy dresses it comes all the way up it has this like really nice comfortable scrunch neckline i tried um to like wear it off the shoulder to see like if maybe it was meant to be that way but it wasn't comfortable for me it has these really fun puff sleeves and like i said the material is great the length is amazing and it's just a really high quality dress from old navy this was definitely on sale because i bought it at the outlet but the marked price is 34.99 and i think i got it for like 50 percent off so super great prices always at Old Navy. I will have all of the things I show in today's video linked down below with any promo codes I can find. But yeah, I'm super obsessed with this dress. Navy's not a color I would typically go for literally at all. I'm not like, I don't really wear a lot of dark colors, even though I know I've showed a black swimsuit and a Navy dress, but I'm trying to branch out into like different colored neutrals. And I just thought that the Navy was so pretty and I was like, oh, it's so perfect for the summer. So I decided to step a little bit outside of my comfort zone and pick up the Navy version of this dress. They also had white and a black and white print, so highly recommend this dress from Old Navy. Okay, my next purchase and definitely my biggest purchase of the day a pair of sandals from Tory Burch. I was gifted a pair of sandals from Tory Burch like two years ago actually at beach week and i got absolutely hooked so i live in florida 
and I wear sandals like 365. The only time I'm wearing closed-toed shoes is when I go to the gym. I have like this really weird like phobia of closed-toed shoes. I just don't like them. They feel very like constricting and claustrophobic. I don't like to wear socks. So I'm such like a sandals girl. Um, so I'm going to show you what I picked up. But they had so many good deals at the outlet. Definitely if you are coming to Orlando, check out the Orlando International outlets. They're over um, by Universal Studios if you're familiar with Orlando at all. They have so many great like luxury stores and just like any store you can think of and I picked up a pair of sandals what's nice is they do come with this really nice travel dust bag they did have tons of great deals at the outlet but of course I ended up getting a pair that was like full price classic but I did try on tons of pairs I just knew if I was going to spend the money I wanted to get a pair that I was definitely going to wear and get tons of love out of so i decided to pick up the miller sandal i personally like the patent miller sandals they're way more durable than the traditional miller sandals which i think might be like lambskin or something i don't know if that's what they actually are but they are very very easily scuffed the patent ones you can scuff them as well but they just like hold up a lot better over time and my shoes and my purses and my clothes have to be something that can take a beating so these were definitely expensive these were 228 dollars that's the most i've ever spent on a pair of shoes literally ever um but i just feel like it's worth it because i know i'm gonna get tons of wear out of them i've actually already worn them a couple times but put them back in the box for the video I have already worn them. I wore them with this outfit today to go get breakfast and I just love them. They're so perfect. I have a black pair of the patent leather so I knew I wanted to get like a brown pair so that I have something to go with all my different outfits. They're very, very comfortable. Such a great durable sandal so if you are looking for one look no further this is the perfect summer sandal i'm definitely somebody that can super easily get buyer's remorse but it's just an item that i know i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of so you can calculate like your like cost per wear and it's super cheap knowing how many times i'm gonna wear these versus what they cost me that's how i like to look at things i don't like buy things with the intention of reselling them or like being able to get my money back i know a lot of people do that with like luxury shoes or handbags i don't look at things that way i buy things because i actually want them and i want to use them so everybody's different but i know i'm gonna get a ton of wear out of these so they are well worth the money spent okay next we're gonna move into some of the items that i picked up for brian and then for me because they kind of go hand in hand so brian's family at beach week typically does like a family picture and we try to match because then his stepmom will use the picture for their christmas card so this year the color scheme is khaki white and baby blue so i had to pick up something for him and for me so i wanted to show you what i got for both of us so for him i picked up stuff from j crew and banana republic these shorts oh my goodness i am so obsessed with these these are chino shorts they're the nine inch chinos in this like just absolutely beautiful baby blue color he doesn't have anything like this so i wanted to pick these up for him these weren't a super good sale these were like 25 dollars, i think which is great for such a nice pair of shorts he's gonna get a ton of wear out of these in the picture and outside of the picture which was really important to him to get something that he'll definitely wear again so i picked these up for him and then to go with that i picked up a super classic white linen shirt this is actually from banana republic this was only 20 bucks so this was a great deal as well I was at the outlets so everything is like outlet pricing definitely like if I'm shopping for anything I always try to check the outlets first and then there's a mall really close by that has all these stores as well but I always like to check the outlets first that way I can try to get like the cheapest pricing possible because this is originally a $56 shirt and I got it for 20 bucks so super great deal just a short sleeve white linen shirt and this is what Brian will be wearing um for the family photo and i think that he's just gonna look so cute i did pick him up a second option though just in case i showed him this shirt when i didn't think they have the shorts in his size and then they ended up finding them but it is this blue and white seersucker shirt so it is just that like classic seersucker material just in that like really pretty blue and white color um he's gonna bring a pair of khaki shorts and then um it, you know if for some reason this outfit doesn't work out or something happens he can wear this shirt with khaki shorts and still fit the color guidelines that we have going um and he just really loved this and knew that he'd get a lot of wear out of it 
even if he doesn't wear it for the picture. So I wanted to pick him up a couple options. Brian is like many guys out there who like still have shirts from like eighth grade. Like he's like, I wore that to my eighth grade dance. It's like, it's gotta go. So when we moved into this house, we actually took turns section by section in our closet and donated a ton of our clothes. I was super proud of him for getting rid of a bunch of stuff he's been holding on to. So this is um, a little bit of a reward for his you know, donations that he made. While I was at J. Crew, I picked up this headband for myself. It is like a woven knotted headband. I love wearing headbands. I just think they are so adorable, so easy for the summer. And this was, I think, 12 bucks, so not bad at all. It was $24.50 originally, and I got it for 50% off. So just a super cute headband. Oop, I might that might have been a mistake. I got it stuck on my head. Okay, I think we are good. But yeah, I picked this up for me while I was in there. I There was another headband I was looking for. They have this really beautiful like knotted gold headband, which is definitely like a statement, but I just thought it was so fun. I saw somebody else wearing it and they told me it was from J. Crew. but I didn't find that one. I did find this one. So pick this up for me for $12. So for the picture, I picked out a dress for myself that I actually got off of Amazon and I really, really love it. It was like 50 bucks, I think. And it's just this really pretty blue dress that has this like ruching at the top and then it kind of comes up here in a V. It's very, very flattering. It has these really pretty like ruffly flutter sleeves. It obviously needs to be ironed. And then it's like a midi length and just has like a little ruffle at the bottom. Last year in the picture, I actually have it as my phone background, I wore this dress that was like kind of shapeless almost and I didn't really love the way that it looked, especially like compared to Brian's outfit because the colors last year were navy, white, and coral and I don't know, I just like didn't like the way that it looked so I wanted to put more effort in this year to make sure that we get some cute pictures and I like the way that I look in the pictures. So picked up this dress, super excited about it. I'll have it linked on Amazon. It's a really, really great dress. Comes in a bunch of different colors and it was super affordable. I definitely feel like you could dress it up if you have like a summer wedding or some other like event you're going to, maybe like a baby shower, wedding shower or something. This would be such a great dress for that. Super affordable and will come really quick from Amazon their shipping is amazing to me. The next thing I want to talk to you about is actually the outfit that I have on. I didn't buy this in my shopping video, but these have been such a staple for me this summer that I just wanted to mention them. I've mentioned them a few times on my Instagram, but in case you don't follow me there, these sets from Gap, I got these at the Gap outlet, are so good. I have a green set, I have a yellow set, and then I have this like neutral tie-dye set. The neutral tie-dye set and the green set I've worn out several times for like filming. You guys have seen them in different videos and it's just a short set that matches the top and it's kind of like a short sleeve almost like terry cloth sweater type material. Very comfortable, very thin and light for the summer. These are always super cheap on gapoutlet.com or Gap Factory, so I'll definitely have them linked down below. They have a ton of different colors and I have been living in these this summer. So yeah, not technically something that I bought in the video, but I've been loving these and I haven't shared them yet here on my YouTube channel. Definitely a summer staple if you're into like the matching sets. They can look so put together. You put it with like a nice pair of sandals, a bag, throw on a couple accessories, you're good to go and it feels like you're wearing pajamas, but you look so cute. So highly, highly, highly recommend. The next store that I went to was Sephora. So I picked up a couple things from Sephora. I honestly haven't shopped there in so long. I used to be like VIB Rouge. I used to spend so much money there and then like completely stopped. Even the girl at Sephora was like, I can see you haven't been here in like over a year. I was like, I know. I'm a recovering Sephora addict, but there was a couple things I needed and I was in the area, so I decided to pick them up at Sephora. You can also get these products at Ulta, but I decided to just grab them at Sephora because I was already in the area. The first thing I picked up was a new Beauty Blender. You will have seen this in the video. Um, if you don't know, Beauty Blender, it's just a makeup sponge, but it's not like any makeup sponge. Like this is the makeup sponge. It's the best <laughs> makeup sponge. I don't know what this thing is made out of, but it's seriously magic. I've had other people give me ones or gift me them or Brian's put like other brands in my stocking from like TJ Maxx and they're just never the same. I don't know what it is. So it is a $20 beauty sponge, but it's amazing. It will change your makeup. It just goes on like so smooth and like makes everything look like your skin, but better. And I just, I can't live without my beauty blender. I don't want to and I won't. So picked up another one because Brian threw mine away. I had a brand new one and it accidentally rolled underneath my car seat. I forgot to 
like taken inside the house and it like sat in my car for like a week or two and he brought my car to get a car wash and it had rolled underneath like the passenger seat and he threw it away because he thought it was trash so clearly i need to train him better on my makeup sponges so i had to pick up another one it's fine he did not know but i had to pick up another one which was kind of a bummer because they're expensive a funny thing about brian and i is that when we're on vacation we love to do face masks i just feel like because you're out in the sun a lot you're getting a lot of sun you're probably dehydrated and it's nice to just like take a couple minutes do a little bit of self-care so i wanted to pick up some sheet masks i like the ones from target but i'm wanting to do uh, ones that have a little bit of better ingredients than the ones from Target. So I wanted to grab some at Sephora These were still actually really reasonably priced. They were like only six bucks and these are by Dr. Jart. I got a couple of Different ones, but I got one that was for soothing which is great um, If we happen to get a little bit too much Sun one day Vital Hydra so like a super hydrating one and then I got one for brightening as well I'm always looking for new and fun ways to make my skin just super bright so i picked up four of these we will do these definitely while we're on vacation pro tip stick them in the fridge or the freezer for like 10 to 20 minutes before you use them and it just is like so cold and like makes your skin look like so bright and awake definitely like stick these in the package don't take them out of the package but just like stick this whole thing in the fridge or the freezer to let it get a little bit cold and then when you put it on it just feels so good. The next thing I picked up was this Mario Badescu rose water spray. So I've talked about this a few times on my channel, but I actually like to use this as my makeup setting spray. Typically I'd buy a much bigger bottle, but they didn't have them at Sephora. They only had the travel size ones, which is fine because I'm going to be packing this in my suitcase to go on vacation. I'm actually on vacation when you're watching this. So hey, from vacation, I'm uh, currently in Ocean City, Maryland, having a great time, I'm sure. But I love using this as my makeup setting spray. This is like my secret weapon. I actually like to spray it onto my beauty blender and then just like lightly pat it in and it kind of makes like any powder products that you use just really like meld into the skin and again look like your skin but better. So I love this spray. I'll have it linked down below. Highly recommend. It's also really great on days you're not wearing makeup if you just kind of want to like freshen up the face just to kind of like spray it and it just feels really really nice. It's just made from rose water and I love this stuff. And then the last thing I picked up from Sephora was actually Olaplex number six i love this stuff my hairdresser recommended this to me this is a bond smoother so it's just like a leave-in product for your hair so when i get out of the shower i just put half a pump in my hair i also use it's a 10 miracle leave-in cream i will leave that down below i just kind of mix them together put those on my hair and then like for days i'm wearing a bun or i can blow dry it out definitely only do like mid shaft down you don't want to like put it in your roots for me i have like really oily hair so i only like to put this mid shaft down and it's just really really good at like keeping your hair bonds super super strong hairstylists don't come at me but my hairdresser recommended it and i love the way it smells and i love the way it makes my hair feel so i've been using this and i'm a super fan of it you get a ton in this bottle and i think it was like maybe 20 bucks ish. Don't quote me on that. I feel like I remember it not being as expensive as I thought it was going to be and I've been loving it. So Olaplex is a great hair care line. If you're having any issues with your hair, definitely check them out on like Sephora. See if they have a product that will work for you. I'm sure they do. It's a really, really highly recommended professionally used hair care brand. So if you're looking for some recommendations, highly recommend Olaplex. Okay, things might look a little bit like shuffled around, but I almost forgot to show you a pair of earrings that I picked up from Target. Target has my absolute favorite earrings. I showed a bunch of my favorites in my shopping video that I posted yesterday, and I'm super into hoops lately, but a lot of the ones I have or that I've been loving are super like statement or they're like way more chunky. So I wanted to get like a slimmer pair and I found these really pretty ones from a new day they're just like very very slim and thin i'm also very into gold all of my jewelry is gold and i just love the ones from target they're nickel free they don't irritate my ears so i picked these ones up for 7.99 well, alrighty, you guys, that is going to be it for me. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you missed it, I will leave my shopping video that I did yesterday down below. I showed a ton of other things that I didn't end up buying, but that I loved anyway. So I showed those in that video if you're interested. If you loved this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thanks for spending your morning with me, your evening, your afternoon, whenever you are watching this. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.